So today we're, I'm getting my water ready to be adding my Tessa silk to that and then my lye water. So generally speaking, I usually, my recipe usually calls for 40 ounces of liquid and I usually do about 30 ounces of ice cubes and then the rest in water. But this time I'm using less ice and so it's like 20 ounces of ice and then 20 ounces of water. So it's half and half. And the reason for that is because I want my lye water to get a little hotter than normal um, so that it can more easily and fully dissolve all the tussa silk that I'm going to be adding to it. Now my recipe right, that I will be making is 12 pounds of oils and so that's why I'm using a lot of silk. The general rule of thumb I've seen is to use like a cotton ball size of tussa silk for every one to two pounds of oil that you use for soap. So. I should be using about 6 to 12 cotton ball sizes worth of Tessa silk and I just eyeball that and I'm just uh, kind of getting, cutting up the fibers a little bit just to be able to increase the surface size for when the lye starts to dissolve um, the silk. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue chopping or trying to cut, it's pretty tough. So now I'm slowly adding my lye to my water and ice and tessa silk and I'm just going to slowly stir it in and I'm going to stir and stir and stir. And I'm not going to put this in, too, in fast forward speed because I want you to see how long I actually stirred this for in real time. It's now pretty well dissolved, so I'm just going to let the Tessa silk sit in, it, in the heat of the lye water and let it fully dissolve even more. And so while we wait for that, I'm just going to go ahead and prep everything else for making my soap. And I'm just coming for, back from doing that, and you can see a little film had developed on the top, but that's fine because I know that all the lye was dissolved fully. And there's, and most of the silk is all very much dissolved. There's still like a few little chunks, but I'm going to add that right to my oils and I'm going to um, submersible blend it fairly well so that there's no little silk chunks in the soap batter. And um, I'm also not going to strain it when I pour it into my oils because I want those silk fibers. I don't want to strain those silk fibers out. And for the most part, they're all thoroughly dissolved. Um, some of that is like a washing soda type uh, crystal that had formed on the top, so some of it is that too. So, And in my final product, my soap batter is actually really creamy and smooth. 